going on everybody, Gundam Flexing here, and today I'm going to be reviewing the just completed Gundam Astray Red Frame. Now for those of you who don't have enough time to watch this video in its entirety, know that I would recommend this kit, especially for around the price. Of course this kit was given to me uh, as a gift, but on Amazon you can find the price around $15 and $17 depending on the fluctuation. Now what I like about this kit is the red and white design and the fact that he also comes with this awesome katana right here. This design really resembles some sort of samurai. He has an awesome V fin, he has a shield, he has two awesome places to put his uh, beam sabers. But what I don't like about this kit specifically is that there are variations, differences from the finish build and obviously from the box art. Now from the other Gunplay videos, you could always say yes of course because for example they got the thrusters, uh, the inside of the thrusters, they're usually a different color than the outside so it's indicative that you have to paint the inside. Um, but this isn't the case so much as this one because when we built the blue frame which was around December, it came with a lot of stickers uh, to cover for the differences between the finished kit and the box art. For this kit, it didn't come with all the stickers I was expecting or with a lot of decals. But before we go into this review on the kit, let's just go over the stickers real quick. And here is the sticker sheet. So of course you have the eyes where my left thumb is. You have the top of his forehead right here where my left thumb is. The two green pieces are for his weapon system. This green red piece I believe would go on the back of his head and of course you got the two identical stickers here where my left thumb is at and they go on his waist or on his skirt. And then we look at the decal sheet here there's only four decals and there's two pairs and you see one left over here and if we look over here that's the one on the shield but if we look at the one at the left side of his shoulder right here you notice that he has an engraving on it so what happened was when I used the second engraving for the shield I didn't center it properly I tried to use a hobby knife to dig it out of the position uh, but instead I put a little bit too much force and cut the sticker it was ruined forever hate my life but yeah these are all the decals and stickers that came with this kit and why that's important to know is when we look at the art here you could tell up on his shoulder area there's white right here but you'll notice it's not the case here and of course maybe yeah they could add stickers if not you're going to have to paint it obviously but it was something that I thought they would cover in because they did it with the uh, blue frame and that includes both shoulders and not only that the discrepancies between this sh uh, between his sword and his actual art is different and again don't expect every single Gunpla model to model itself after the art but the sword was something I was really looking forward to and of course if you have Gundam markers you could just paint it and then you could hit the inside diamonds as well. We also look at the sheath of the sword now this portion here where my fingers at I actually painted that just to resemble uh, the, uh, the art but I didn't want to continue painting any of the pieces because I wanted you to do a review on this guy and sort of give you an idea on what to expect or what the big differences are. Don't get me wrong, I really love this kit. I think you got a lot of options for battle posing. But of course, that not every kit is perfect. So we're going to put that back here. And the additional other pieces here, aside from the PC caps, which there are quite a few, are his two beam sabers. And of course, his beam saber holders go on his backpack. Very nice compartment. And yes, I actually cut these beam sabers out of the runners uh, because the runners they were part of was just so massive that I just figured just cut them out, put them loose in the box, we'll be good. Looking at the head, if we start with the head of this guy, he has an awesome V fin. And of course, we have the sticker mentioned here in the sticker sheet. Now you also see I panel lined the two stripes that's going from the back of his head to the front of his head. If you don't do it, it the kit may look a little awkward 
and it also matches the art as well. So here, you see he has panel lining, and he actually has the panel lining and the art that shoots straight down after the arrow. I didn't do that, not yet. Uh, if you have uh, if you have the panel lining ink, it would probably be much simpler to do it than a panel lino marker. Uh, it wasn't so smooth and I actually had to use an eraser to smooth it out over the edges. With panel lining ink, you could just use a little cotton swab and absorb the excess ink. It's not a big deal. In the back of his head, you also have a third sticker, which was the green square. And that's it. No mobility issues with his head. If we look at his main body, he has this awesome chest plate right here, thrusters underneath. We look at the back, it's like this. Now it sort of resembles an IBO design, his waist, because the IBO designs usually has that main piping system extending from the waist to the upper chest. This is actually in reverse, so it all it's a little bit attached to the backpack. But here it's just again resembles like the IBO kits. You have his backpacks with the thruster system, which is very, very different from the Universal Sentry thrusters in which they're more protracted out of the system, out of the backpack. We have his shoulders, and of course we have his arms. Just to highlight again, you're going to have to paint some of these where it shoots out here downwards, you're gonna to have to paint that. And I think it will make a difference in the long run, especially from a far distance, right there as well. Now he does come with the shield system that attaches to the back of his arm as such. So you see this elongated piece, it will go right in there. Shield is very, very simple. We have the holster, you have the mainframe of the shield, and then you have the gray cover. And that's it. And you could also attach the shield to the opposite side of the arm as such. Of course you have his beam rifle, let's take this out real quick. The beam rifle is a very simple weapon system. You have the left piece, you have the right piece, this isn't, the, the handle itself isn't even a separate piece, and then you have the muzzle, so only three pieces total. And unfortunately he doesn't have two firing hands, he only has a right trigger hand. His other hand is here, and it's a right clasp hand, and it goes on the sword. The only other left hand he has is this open left hand, which you could also connect to the sword, but again, no trigger hand. That's sort of a bummer, because I always wanted to at least have the option to uh, wield his on either side. We look at his waist, or his skirt. His skirt is very short, unlike the other uh, Gunpla, especially in the Universal Century. This is a very short skirt, so you have no issues with battle posing because his legs could extend in almost any direction, any any flexibility you want. And that's a good thing because he's really designed for close quarter combat and you want to have great posability, especially with an awesome sword like this. Here, going back, he has some sort of tail and uh, extends from the extends from the skirt system. Nothing too crazy. Of course, they could come up with stickers that'll cover the center. And we look at his legs, and nothing special about his legs, nothing special about the way they're built. His legs pretty much built with the red pieces inside as some sort of inner frame, and then you put the white pieces on the outside, sort of as his cover, and then you get the piece right here on, the, on this side and the opposite side on the side of his legs that just goes over the white piece. So it's really just stack on stack on stack. And of course nothing super special about his feet. Very mobile, very mobile. No skirts on the bottom of his feet. Again, you want to have that flexibility in order to have him super posed like he's getting ready to lash out at someone or he's in a, some sort of um, preparation pose with his sword. So overall, I'm trying to develop a rating system for my Gunpla videos that I could put in the beginning of the video. So right now, the, I think my rating system would be somewhere around like the design of the Gunpla, I'd give it a 5 out of 5. As for the details, I would have to give it a 3 out of 5 simply because the stickers that I wanted really, really, I think they could have really capitalized on just adding more stickers for this guy, especially for his forearms. 
and even for the end of his katana here at the handle and the sheath right there but in terms of posability that, that's definitely five out of five and for the price I would say it's five out of five you definitely get your money's worth from this guy right there but yeah, just let me know what I, how I can make my rating system better, that way I can incorporate it into the video. I do know I have to make my videos a little bit uh, better in terms of video editing. So I'm still working on that. And yeah, I appreciate you all for watching. If you have any questions, post them down in the comments section below and I'll get right to them. Oh, this is also very interesting. His waist, you know how the the origin gunpla kits, you, their waists are able to lean to the left and to the right. Not so much with this guy. His waist is actually in a single pillar like this. So it's not on a ball joint and his his um, his abdominum uh, aren't are stacked on top of each other so they can't lean left to they can't lean left or to the right. And I can't seem to speak today. But yeah. Let me know what you guys think, if I can improve the video editing or improve my rating system. I'm about to incorporate it in the future videos. But that's all I have for you guys. I appreciate you all for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next Gunplug video or whatever next video I upload. Alright guys, peace.